Yer, what's good, gang? It's your boy NC Kivo coming back with another video. Hey, man, time of this recording is February the 1st. So, y'all already know, man, first day of Black History Month. So, I was sitting around and I found this little quiz on Black History, so Black History trivia or something. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. You'll see what it do, man. They got multiple choice, they got a picture quiz, and they got true or false stuff. See how much I know my Black History, man. I'm gonna get some questions read off to me. Let's see what I score. I don't know, man. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this, but we can try. Let's let's get into it, yeah. Yes, we gonna start out with true or false, man. Wish me luck. Hey, yo, if you're at home, man, download out. Go ahead and try it, man. See see what you get. See if you can do better than I did. The Harlem Renaissance began in the 1940s. Harlem Renaissance began in the 1940s. True or false? True. I got that wrong. Hey, <laughs> false. Langston Hughes was not a part of the Harlem Renaissance. Langston Hughes. Hey, Langston Hughes was like, oh, <laughs> false. Got it right. Got it right, man. One and one right now. One and one. The Dred Scott decision of 1857 by the U.S. Supreme Court ruled African Americans who were not the United States citizens. True. I got it right, man. Two, two and one. All citizens of the United States were guaranteed the right to vote in the Fifteenth Amendment, ratified in 1927 to the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> I'm gonna guess on this one, y'all. I'm gonna say true. I got it oh. wrong. Two and two, two and two. I ain't doing too bad right now. And in the 1950s, in the 1950s, Major Evers was the most visible civil rights leader in Mississippi USA. False. Man, I'm getting everything wrong. <laughs> Three the, and two. The Emmy Peters Bridge, a 1960 civil rights landmark, spans the Mississippi River. True. <sighs> I got that wrong too, <laughs> man. I'm four and two, y'all. Quote, no, novelist, playwright, and composer Langston Hughes wrote the first poems in middle school. True. I got another one wrong, y'all. Yeah. Five, I mean, two and five, I think. I got two right, five wrong. Educated and surgeon Dr. Charles Drew found the first blood bank saving thousands of lives during World War One. Uh, it's an educator and surgeon Dr. Charles Drew found that the first blood bank saving thousands of lives during World War One. True. <laughs> <laughs> I got that wrong too. Two or six. Madam C.J. Walker became the USA first African American millionaire by building a cosmetic empire. True. That's right. And I know, I know, Madam C.J. <laughs> Bill Pickett was the one, the original Tuskegee Airman. Bill Pickett was one of the original Tuskegee Tuskegee Airman. <laughs> How have you said it? <laughs> False. Okay. <laughs> I got it right, man. What, on four and six, I think? Four, Three. right, six, or, huh? Three and six. Louis H. If y'all see me looking away, I'm reading it by myself, too. True. I got it wrong. Hey, y'all, if y'all ain't know, this, this quiz time, too. That's why I'm trying to do it kind of quick. African American Mary Fields, a stagecoach driver, was the second woman ever to drive a U.S. mail carrier route. Right? Uh, tr true. I got that right, man. <laughs> Harriet Tubman, Mexico's disguise became the spy of the Union Army during the U.S. Civil War. False. <laughs> what? They say that's true, bro. I don't believe that. <laughs> I guess. In 1995, in 1985, Stevie Wonder won an Oscar for the best movie I just called to say I love you. The best movie song. Stevie Wonder had a movie song. True. I'm going to say true. I got it right, man. The author Maya Angelou was the first African American woman to make a non-fictional bestseller list. That's 100% true. I got it right. Let's go. <laughs> Malcolm X was the son of a Baptist minister. Of a Baptist minister. Mm, was he? Malcolm X? I'm going to say false. I don't know if he had a minister. Uh, I was wrong. 
right, I'm gonna leave out the true or false. I'm tired of true or false, okay, man. Me too. Let's get into the multiple choice, man. Ooh. Say Blanche Kelso Bruce. I think I said his name wrong. Right. I might have butchered it. I don't know. Say it was the first African American appointed register of A. Voting records. B. The IRS. C. The U.S. Treasury. D. Deeds. My time running now. I'm going to go with U.S. Treasury. And I'm right. Let's go. Next question. Dr. Ralph. Jay Bunch was the first African American to win the Nobel Peace Prize in A. 1965, B. 1954, C. 1947, D. 1950. I'm going to go with. I'm going to say B. 1954. I'm wrong. The answer is D. 1950. Learn something new every day. Kwame Tour, I think I said it right, was also known as A. Hope. Jose Williams, B, H. Rap Brown, C, Stokely Carmichael, or D, Eldridge Cleaver. I'm going to say D, Eldridge Cleaver. And I'm wrong again. <laughs> and also was C. Y'all got to go with C, man. Stokely Carmichael. Alright. Sergeant William H. Carney was the first African American awarded the A, Distinguished Service Cross, B, Cunt. Congressional Medal of Honor C Purple Heart D Bronze Star Medal I'm gonna go with D Bronze Star Medal I'm wrong again Also with B Congressional Medal of Honor Alright George Washington Carver He got a little parentheses Not parentheses but Yeah parentheses 1864 through 1943 was born in A Minnesota B, Missouri, C, Mississippi, or D, Montana. I'm going to go with C, Mississippi. And I'm wrong. Man, I'm horrible with this guy. It's B, Missouri. <laughs> the first African American to host a nationwide network television program is A, Nat King Cole, B, Sammy Davis Jr., C, Diane, Di I think I say Diane Carroll, or D, Steve Harvey. I'm going to go ahead and cross out D because <laughs> I know he ain't the first. Steve Harvey ain't the first nothing. So I'm gonna go with t -t 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 Ooh, hey, that can't go. Alright, let's go. <laughs> there was a guess. Bessie Coleman, the first black woman in the USA to receive a pilot's li pilot's license, was trained by French and A English aviators, B Canadian aviators, C German aviators, or D Spanish aviators. I'm going to go with German aviators and I'm right. Let's go. I know y'all boy knows black history. <laughs> this television program did not feature Bill Cosby as one of the stars. A. I Spy. B. Get Smart. C. The Cosby Show. Cross it out. D. C.O.S. I'm going to go with A. I'm wrong. It's B. Get Smart. <laughs> Dorothy Dandridge. Received the Best Actress Academy Award nomination in 1954 for her role in A. Allen Son, B. Carmen San Diego, C. Carmen or D. Carmen Jones. I'm gonna go with the only one that ain't got Carmen in it, which is probably gonna be wrong, but I'm gonna go with A. Allen and Son, and I'm wrong. <laughs> it was D. Carmen Jones. Ernie Davis, 1939. <laughs> Through 1963, with the first African American to win the Heisman Trophy, wore what number? A. 42 at Morehouse, B. 44 at Syracuse, C. 24 at Columbia, D. 15 at Shaney, I think. I'm gonna go with 42 at Morehouse. A. I'm wrong. It's B. 44 at Syracuse. Alright, man, this is gonna be the last one I'm gonna do for multiple choice. But it's Sammy Davis Jr.'s. 1965 autobiography. A. I gotta be me. B. Yes, I can. C. My name is Sammy. D. Yes, we can. I'm gonna go with D. Yes, we can. I'm wrong. It's yes, I can. He's selfish. <laughs> All about him, I guess. So, now let me start. Now I'm gonna go to a um, picture quiz. Let y'all look at it with me. See that, man? I gotta look at the picture and guess who it is. I'm gonna say this is Michelle Obama. And I'm right. Let's go. They don't look nothing like Michelle, though. <laughs> Alright, this is the next picture right here. I'll see it.
it's a good start to load it up as the time go by. But yeah, A, Earl Lloyd, B, Ralph Ellison, C, Ralph Bunch, D, Ralph Alberta, nothing. Since I got a question earlier about Ralph Bunch, that's what I'm gonna pick. And I got it wrong. <laughs> it was Ralph Alberta, nothing. I hope you say his name. This ain't even got a picture of nobody yet. So I'm gonna have to wait for it to come up. But it's A, James Baldwin, B, Paul Robinson, C, Benjamin Banneker, or D, I don't even know how to say that name. I ain't gonna butcher it. I pick B, Paul Robinson. I'm wrong. It's A. Alright, bet. So A, Wilma Rudolph, B, Mary McLeod Bethune, C, Daisy Bates, D, e Edith Selch. I'm gonna show y'all the picture after I pick her out. And it show the full picture. I put Edith Sampson, you see I got it wrong again. I'm doing horrible right now. Answer was B, whatever it was. Alright, so this one is A, Richard Allen, B, A, Philip Randolph, C, H, Rap Brown, or D, Stokely Carmichael. I'm a, I see a face. I don't really know none of these people. I'm going to say Stokely Carmichael. I got it right. Stokely Carmichael. Y'all see that picture there? Y'all let me know if y'all know any of these people too. Don't let me be the only one getting stuff wrong. But yeah, for this one it's A. James Wilden Johnson, B. Louis T. Wright, C. George Washington Carver, or D. Richard Bowie Spikes. Or Bowie Spikes, I have you said. I'm gonna go with C. George Washington Carver. And I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see his picture there. I don't think these people look like the people that are saying, but. Alright, this one it say A Blanche Kelso Bruce, B Mifflin W Gibbs, C Pickney S Pinchback, or D Frederick Douglass. Only person name I know here is Fred Frederick Douglass, so get what? I picked them and I got it. Let's go. <laughs> Next one is A Mark Whitaker, B Barack Obama, C Dr. Bernard Harris Jr., or D Alfred E. Newman. Now, when this picture come up, if it's Barack Obama, I'm gonna know it. <laughs> it's looking like him. I, ain't, I can't see the full face yet, so I'm gonna wait till I can. That's my boy Barack. Let's go. <laughs> see, I got it right, man. Yeah, hey, that's my dog. All right, for this one, it's A. Robert Smalls, B. Paul L. Dunbar, C. Jesse Jackson, or D. Carl Stokes. Only person I know what here is Jesse Jackson. I don't know what he looked like, but I'm gonna pick him. And I got it right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to do process elimination. You feel me? That's what y'all got to do. So y'all got to test process elimination. All right, this one is A, Julian Bond, B, Martin Luther King Jr., C, Ronald Dellums, or D, Carl T. Rowe. And this is Martin Luther King, too. I can see the picture already. Y'all see it. Yeah. Y'all see him coming about. My boy Martin Luther King. Hey, man, I'm doing good with the picture quiz. I guess I know him by face. A, you got Robert Hayden, B, Isaac Murphy, C, Langston Hughes, D, Richard Wright. Only person I know here is Langston Hughes. I don't know what he looked like, so I'm probably going to pick him. But I'm going to see what this picture looked like first, because he don't look like his name be Langston Hughes. But I'm going to still pick him because I don't want to know, and I got it wrong. The answer was Richard Wright. Let me know if y'all know who that is. Alright, this one, A would be Ronald H. Brown, B would be Andrew Young, C, William H. Hasty, and D, Hiram Revels, or however you say that, man. And see, this dude look like he would be uh, Ronald H. Brown. <laughs> but he ain't. <laughs> His name Andrew Young. Is that answered all the questions, man? I got, I, got, I think I, I had a good, a good little record on that one. But hey man, that's the end of the video. I just did this little quick video for Black History Month. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy this month. Learn more about your ancestors. I need to learn a little bit more. Obviously, as you can see. But I did what I could do, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Hey, I'm gone. Peace.